Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Melissa Rodriguez. For those that haven't seen my channel, I'm a first year medical student in Florida and I create videos about medical school and other things, but main, mainly medical school. So today I have my OSCE, my mini OSCE exam for medical school and I thought it would be helpful for you guys to see me um, just do a sample, like if I had an imaginary patient right here now because it will also help me to practice and I have it literally in two hours. I have my OS my mini OSCE and it's only the complete medical history. We don't have to do any, any physical exams obviously because we are online, but we have to just do the know how to do the complete medical history. And yeah, I thought I will do maybe a little part of it. If it becomes too long, I'll just cut it out. But <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna start like if I had an imaginary patient in the screen <laughs> okay so Melissa Rodriguez and I'm a first year medical student at FAU and today I'm going to be taking your history. Is that okay? Are you okay with a medical student being part of your care? Okay, can I start by, by getting your name and age please? Okay, and how would you like me to address you? Okay, and um, are you okay with proceeding in English? Okay, many people use different pronouns. For example, I use she and her. Do you have any preferences? Okay, perfect. And uh, anything that I say, if you don't understand something, feel free to stop me and ask me any questions, okay? Okay, so what brings you in today? Okay, I understand. Um, any other additional concerns apart from that? Okay, okay, so we're gonna spend around 20 minutes talking about <clears throat> this pain that you've been having and we can spend also some time talking, like around 10 minutes more talking about these other concerns that you have, okay? Perfect, so tell me a little bit more about this pain. When did it start? Can you point with your finger where the pain is coming from? Is it going somewhere or moving? No. Is it constant or does it go away and come back? It's constant. Okay. And were you doing anything in a specific that you think might have caused it? No. Um, have you ever had this kind of pain before? Okay. So I want to know how bad it is. Uh, from a scale of 1 to 10, how will you rate this pain? Okay, that sounds bad. Um, let's see. Um, have you done anything to make it better? Anything that you think makes it worse? No, is it affecting any of your daily activities? Such as cooking, bathing? Yeah, it takes you a little time. Okay, so you mentioned you have abdominal pain, right? Um, so I will ask, um, have you been experiencing any nausea, vomiting? Any problems swallowing? Any changes in your bowel movements? No. Uh, Okay, okay, so I'm gonna quickly summarize whatever you said and now I summarize <laughs> whatever they tell me. Okay, okay, perfect. So now I'm going to ask you some general questions about your general health and these are probably yes or no questions, but it's important to know just to have the full picture of your overall health. Is that okay? Okay, have you been experiencing any weight loss? Any difficulty sleeping? Any weakness? No, any fever? What about headaches? Any um, 
problems uh, hearing or pain in your ear congested nose what about your mouth have you seen any bleeding gums any swollen glands uh, in, through your neck have you checked no any stiffness okay what about your skin have you looked at um, at it does it have any rashes lumps sores no um, have you been having changes in attention any changes in concentration have you been having any tingling anywhere on your body tingling involuntary movements have you been feeling anxious or just worried have you been feeling down lately Okay, your breast, have you felt any abnormal lumps or sores, any discomfort? No, any chest pain? A swelling, any, any swelling around your body? Do you suffer from any heart problems, like high blood pressure? No. Uh, what about shortness of breath? Pain with inspiration, cough, yeah, a little cough. How does the sputum look? Okay, okay. Uh, thank you for sharing. I'm gonna ask just a few more questions, okay? Um, let's see. Um, I asked you a little bit about the abdominal cramp, and you said you have not been experiencing any nausea, but um, there is cramps constant there, right? And different. Uh, more bowel movements you said okay okay perfect um, have you been experiencing any pain with urination no any frequency changes you going more to pee no any burning sensations at all have you ever had a UTI or urinary tract infection no um, let's see any leg cramps no any history of varicose or congested veins no any um sorry congested veins swelling uh okay so have you been having any muscle pain and joint pain any stiffness in your back back ache Um, okay, have you been experiencing, um, are you having sex? These are questions that I ask in every of my patients just to know. Any changes in sexual function, sexual interest, any abnormal discharges, or if it's male, any testicular pain, testicular masses that you felt? No. Um, do you suffer from any, any anemia, easy bruising, have you ever had blood transfusions? No. Uh, what about thyroid problems? Do you suffer any um, excessive sweating, any excessive sweating? Heat or cold intolerance? Okay, thank you so much for answering these questions. I know it may be a little long, it's just important to ask. Now I'm going to ask you about your past medical history, just to know what has been gone, going on with you medically, okay? Um, so, have you had any illnesses that developed as a child? Any illnesses that developed as an adult? What about surgeries? Have you had any surgeries? Have you had, apart from that surgery, have you had any other hospitalizations? No, any injuries, accidents, like motor vehicle accidents, sport related injuries? No, have you had, um, let's see, um, are you up to date with your immunizations? 
What about allergies? Are you allergic to anything? Are you up to date with your screening test, such as your pap smear, your cholesterol check, hepatitis, tuberculosis? Have they checked you? Yeah, colon cancer screening. Sometimes some doctors do it. Okay, okay, and, and immunizations you mentioned, yes. Are you allergic to any medications? Um, food or environmental toxins, I have to ask. Um, are you taking any kind of alternative medicine or complementary medicine? Any over-the-counter medications? Any medications at all? Are you taking any medications? No. Okay, okay, thank you so much for answering this. Now I'm gonna ask you a little bit about your family and about the family I asked about parents, grandparents, um, siblings and children and grandchildren if it's, if it's applicable, we don't know. Um, and anybody else in your family suffers from, from any chronic conditions such as diabetes, cancer, stroke, um, um, thyroid problems, um, what about alcoholism, substance abuse, suicide attempts? No. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. We're gonna now ask you a little bit about your social life, and this is just to get to know you and just know the full picture. Um, just to get to know you a little better. Okay. So, where are you from? Where do you born? Where were you born? Okay. Do you live alone? Are you married? How's your home environment? Do you have emotional support? What about social support? Yeah, you have any friends? Um, what do you like to do in your free time? Do you work or study? Have you been um, Have you been involved in any volunteering activities? Any um, military service, for example? No. What do you eat in a typical day? How? What kinds of foods do you eat? Do you exercise? Yeah. How often? Okay. Do you drink alcohol? Do you take drugs? Any recreational drugs at all? Consume tobacco products? Do you do vaping? Um, do you have any religious affiliation that I may know as a doctor that you um, think might affect your health care? Okay, okay. Have you traveled anywhere recently? Are you having sex? Do you have one or, or multiple partners? What gender do your partners identify with? Um, okay, okay. Is pregnancy a concern for you? Are you using any type of protection? Have you ever been tested for sexually transmitted diseases? Any complications after that? Okay. Um, See if I'm missing something. <laughs> I feel like I've covered everything. What do you guys think? I might be prepared. I am just scared I will blank out in the middle of the uh, of the of the encounter. I just want to be as natural as possible. I think I've got it all, <laughs> but we will see. I'll let you guys know how it goes. Thank you so much for watching me um, do this little muck. I hope you answered all my questions through the screen and I probably let me see, let, let's see let's see if I missed something um, uh, so I didn't ask about life stressors so have you are you experiencing any life stressors or anything that worries you too much any any life events uh, yeah I think I answer everything else Psychiatric history, I forgot in the medic in the past medical history. I'm supposed to ask. Um, uh -huh. Have you ever felt the need to see a mental health professional, or have you ever dealt with depression, anxiety, etc.? I think I asked everything else. Yeah.
thank you <laughs> thank you so much for watching again and i'll make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in the next video